friends on behalf of ananta ais academy based at bangalore hyderabad and vishakhapatnam today i will be discussing with you regarding different issues of current nature from 19th of july the parliament sessions will be conducted and lot of transactions will be going on and bills will be introduced and this is known as monsoon session for the people who are appearing for the interviews they should uh, be aware of all the facilities of the parliament and the, the procedures of the parliament because there may be a question on the sessions which are going on the position of uh, different nda parties and uh, the strength of the upa and leader of the house and how the leader of the house has not been given the rank of a cabinet minister and the sittings uh, what time the parliament starts and what time the parliament uh, is over and the question our different types of start questions and uh, written questions and unwritten questions and the bills to be introduced and the importance of monsoon session for the nda government to project uh, themselves because the elections for up also are slated very shortly and so during this monsoon session the government would like to introduce several bills for the benefit of the public and the adjournment motions will be there and the adjournments by the speaker or the chairman of the rajya sabha due to several uh, inter the dependency or due to several difficulties faced in the house they may be adjourning the house and the sessions will be over by 13th of august in view of the 15th august uh, importance and the red fort flag hoisting ceremony by the prime minister now i will touch upon four items which are of current nature recently the uttarakhand chief minister has been replaced what was the necessity and why the present cm has resigned and what was the necessity for to include a new cm in his place the appointment of a chief minister and removal of a chief minister is a constitutional authority uttarakhand cm the ts rawat has resigned why he should resign he has served only for about 4 months his tenure because he was not a member of any council or legislative assembly that doesn't have a council of course so before the 6 months he should have been elected for any constituency and then only his chief ministership will be valid the issue behind it is the election commission was yet to take a call on the holding of by polls for the vacant assembly seats in uttarakhand which would have given rawat a way to carry on as chief minister but they did not declare as per the constitutional provisions he has 6 months up to 10th of september only now he resigned about 7 7 days back and the tenure for him was 6 months the representation of people's act 1951 when the constitution came into power mandates that the by election for any vacancy should be held within 6 months of that vacancy arising and provided the remaining period of the term is not less than 1 year now the person has not been elected within 6 months and the by polls have not been announced this is the reason why mr rawat has been asked to resign the term of the current assembly elected in 2017 will expire by 23rd march 2022 now we are in the month of july and only about uh, five, this uh, five months and uh, three months or eight months are there and they cannot have by elections by polls the chief is appointed by the governor governor has the power governor is pleased to appoint so and so so and so and he is the chief of the legislative party of that particular party and the leader of that particular party who has a majority in that assembly is declared as the chief minister and chief minister is sworn in by governor of that particular state the constitution 164 article provides that there should be a council of ministers to cm at its hand 
to aid and advise the government. He can dismiss, the governor has the power to dismiss the chief minister and all the cabinet ministers are provided the benefit of advising the governor in the governmental decisions. The assembly also can be, is also empowered to remove the chief minister. These are the two. Number one is governor can remove a chief minister or the assembly by passing a majority vote can remove the chief minister. Uh, it can be no confidence motion or it can be a confidence motion. Then comes to another important issue, the draft anti-trafficking bill. This is a major event during the last uh, one year. Government has uh, uh, wants to introduce this uh, anti-trafficking bill. What is this? Ministry of Women and Child Welfare has invited suggestions uh, for its uh, trafficking in persons, Preservations, Care, Prevention and Rehabilitation Bill 2021. What are the highlights? The bill purposes stringent punishment to the offenders, including hefty fines and seizing of their properties. This is also another important thing, uh, another important thing which we have to keep in mind. What is the real procedure? The real procedure is the draft also does away with the provision that a victim necessarily needs to be transported. 